New at 11, Marathon's Detroit refinery workers have voted to authorize a strike. So what could that mean for the already high gas prices? CBS News Detroit's Terrell Bailey is on your block in Wyandotte with some answers. Right now across the state, according to AAA, the average gallon of gasoline is about $3.23 a gallon. But with workers at a Metro Detroit refinery voting to authorize a strike, could the price you pay at the pump be even higher in the future? They put a horrible proposal on the table of 2% wage increase. So we've conducted a strike vote with the members. Union workers with Detroit's Marathon Refinery voting 249 to 11 to move forward with a strike authorization. As prices for everyday items rise, union workers say so should paychecks. With other industries also successfully hitting the picket line last year, it's something Marathon workers hope to take a page from. Casino workers received an 18% increase in the first year. So inflation is sky high. They deserve 20% raise at least in the first year. In total, this move could affect nearly 300 employees. Experts say Detroit's Marathon Refinery fuels much of Southeast Michigan and Northwest Ohio. Typically when a refinery, which is represented by various union workers, goes on strike, the refinery may choose, a uh, company may choose to bring in workers from outside, from other refineries that aren't covered by the strike to maintain operations. We're told every year Marathon profits billions. The Teamsters' most recent contract with the company expired at the end of January. As the potential for a strike grows, workers have no choice but to prepare. I spoke with my wife about it, but her mom works for GM, so they've been on strike a couple of times since, you know, since we've been together, so it's not a stranger to it. I've just never done it myself. The last time a strike happened at the refinery was over two decades ago. It lasted 90 days. Now negotiations will continue around the clock to hopefully avoid a similar situation. We're debating about um, scheduling for the members, which are horrible, and long, um, they need more time off. They're being forced into work a lot because they're running short staff. Experts say with spring around the corner, gas prices could begin to increase as the switch to summer fuel is made. As for the union workers, I'm told negotiations with Marathon will continue next week. I'm also told some workers may begin informational picketing in the meantime. Of course, as this strike potentially gets underway, we'll continue to keep you posted on those updates. Terrell Bailey, CBS News, Detroit. And Marathon Petroleum sent us a statement on the negotiations. A spokesperson says while they plan to bargain in good faith, plans are in place to keep the Detroit refinery open regardless.